doing good. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> I want to see inside your vicious face. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Oh, it's okay. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. You long snouted devil. Yeah, let me look. Oh man, what have they done to you? I don't know, let's see. This is all for you. Yeah. This is all for you. This is all for you. You have to go loop. Okay. And we're ready with the other stuff? Yep. Oh wow, okay. I have a snake in the next room. So I'm gonna, as soon as she brings me a fecal, we're getting a sample. I'm going to run in there and look at that under the microscope, okay? Um, and then uh, once I'm getting that answer done, I will also run next door and show them how to give some medications to a 32-pound snake. Nice. Okay? Um, and then I'll come back here and we'll finish up with this guy. All right, sounds good. And your toes. There's very little about you that's normal, dude. You have messed up everything in those cages. Yep. I know. Hold on. We're gonna make you very healthy. Yeah. Very healthy. Wanna look in there? What's that? <laughs> really? Yeah. That's freaking awesome. Okay. The figure was a very poor sample. I didn't, you know, so obviously I'm not gonna see many parasites or any problems as far as that goes. Because of the type of creature that he is, they're procyanid, there are certain parasites that they are known for that can actually kill humans. Right. Okay, Bilosascaris, if you've done your research on the internet, I'm sure yeah. you've heard that already. Um, now, you know, I've tried to see if I could find it to rule it out, but obviously we got a very poor sample. Um, so I'm going to send you home with the treatment for that, and I'm also sending you home with some antibiotics aimed at that tail. Okay. okay? Uh, we need to get that done. Um, there's a shot that I can give him that will, it's a corticosteroid, and it'll help with some of the itching on the base of this tail. It'll also improve our appetite, make us a little less stressed, and make us as thirsty as possible for the next week or the next okay. two to three weeks. Um, so we can do that, and it'll help with the pain relief and, and help with getting some weight on our buddy here. Okay. Uh, what about, okay. does he need like a rabies shot or anything? Like Let's that? get him healthier first. Let's okay. find out what his other problems are, because at the same time, if I give him a vaccine, that, that and the way vaccines work is they challenge your immune system. Right. Right now, we don't know what other things are challenging the immune system, okay? Yeah. Uh, at next week, next Thursday when I'm here, let's uh, try to make you the first appointment of the day because this may need some minor surgery. Okay. Okay? If that's the issue, then at that point in time, like, we can go ahead and give him something for sedation. I can fix that, close that end up, that, uh, that end off because that we don't want that bone exposed. Right. Okay? I'm hoping that if we give the antibiotics I'm giving between now and then, that'll be enough to... Uh, um, to make that end just fall off and be null and void. But uh, if that doesn't work naturally, I'm trying to give his immune response a chance, then right. we'll do a minor surgery and we'll take care of that then. Um, once we get him a little bit stronger, my plan is to uh, let's x ray him, see if we can find out what's happened to him in that small rabbit cage, arthritis, so forth. See, right. but it's heart disease, he does have a murmur, um, and maybe even do a heart lung test. Okay. Okay. And then we'll cover those things. Um, wow. I'm really impressed. I, when I heard Get a Cut of Money coming in here today, I was expecting a totally rambunctious, yeah. I am going to uh, to eat you guys for dinner type of uh, procyanid. Um, um, I've He's been real giving, I feed my dog the pro plan. Is that a good for him or should I do something different? Uh, they have a grain-free version of the pro plan too. Grain's not a problem. I, you know, I, I know right now they're they're pushing. they're 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 pushing the grain free stuff. Animals and humans have been eating grains for millions of years. Unless right. they're having a problem, I wouldn't recommend ruling it out of their diet just yet. Okay. Um, but at the same time, this is one of those species that does require a higher percentage of protein. Um, they're omnivores like your dogs are. But they're also used to a higher protein in the wild. This guy will be cruising through the trees, finding right. small snakes and lizards and eating them whole. And yeah. occasionally he'd come across some fruit or mango or something, some of his favorite fruit tree for the region. And they would uh, they'd probably end up having diarrhea on mango for about three weeks out of the year. Yeah. Just because it tastes good and it's the <laughs> one thing that can drive them crazy. Um, 
so I, I, I've never raised a coat of money. I've raised many a raccoons over the years. <laughs> so you need to do some internet research and find out what diet's working best okay. for them in captivity. And I think we'll probably get the answer that you're looking for, you know, with them. Yeah. Um, and this guy, hey, we're so underweight. We basically rate their body value. If you're going to use the five scale, this guy's basically a 1.5. Okay. 2.5 would be model material. And after that, we're just looking at your your, your meth head guy right here. Um, <laughs> thanks for laughing. I was trying for a joke there. Uh, <laughs> it's got the summer teeth and everything. Um, those teeth are so worn down. You know, like I said, that I just... I don't want to make his first trip with us the worst trip ever. Right. Okay, um, let's just make him like us. Let's. Uh, you still got some bonding going on, and and I can't I can't even tell you how proud I am. This is an awesome thing to see. Okay, um, I, I I've had clients that have come to me and said I'm going to get a coat of money, or you know, or and they get it and they put it in a cage and they can't handle it. They can't touch it. Um, yeah. We had one a while back that uh, the girl had let her dog in the house, and her dog was famous for ripping the arms off animals, and oh it ripped gosh. his arm off. And what's weird was she could barely handle that coat of money. Yeah. Just couldn't. And this guy is a completely different creature. And you just got him. Yeah. It makes you pretty lucky. <laughs> well, maybe we can get him in better shape. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet you that by this time, you know, next week, we'll have a much, much better, you know, much better coat, much shinier coat. Yeah. This uh, this part of the tail here will be uh, much better shape as well. Um, those of you watching on the camera, that there is actual piece of bone. Um, so hopefully, you know, by this time next week, Mother Nature will have allowed that piece of bone to just rot off the end and the flesh will cover it. If not, then we'll we'll intervene a little bit. Um, it will be a minor procedure. I don't know what the pricing and stuff is around here, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. Okay. I'm hoping Mother Nature does a really good job. Yeah. His teeth are in bad shape, and I'm also going to recommend some Advantage Multi for him. Okay. okay. After I give a shot, I'm going to recommend that you go home and put the topical on him. That'll take care of fleas, ticks okay. in other countries. Um, it also takes care of a lot of the other intestinal parasites, so it's a good thing. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, we're going to get a shot. Then you can lay here, play, play the camera on. All right. Yeah, you got
to get her this chart so she can work. <laughs> Did you even move? <laughs> What's this? This is going to be a chop for you. You're going to feel so good after this. You are going to feel so good. Yes, you are. Yeah. You are going to be a hidden plethora of things I get to discover in the next few weeks. <laughs> Have some fun with them. <laughs> He's just loving this. Yep. In the middle of the night, he'll come up and start grooming my beard. It's <laughs> funny. That's just cool. You yeah. have no idea. I've probably tweeted 20 to 30 of these over the years. Yeah. And they're all, I can play with them, you know, as, as a little cub. But once they get older, it's like break out the leathers. Yep. You know. <laughs> Know that the lever, leathers are not enough protection, and this guy's just loving life. Yeah, maybe if I stuck my girlfriends in rabbit cages, they'd be more appreciative <laughs> to me, too. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that on film? Yes. <laughs> All right, Dad, stabilize him again. Um, it would not be a bad idea. It works pretty well. I like those things. I have to order some today. I'll have a, um, I was going to say, if you like pill pockets more, you could actually send him some pill pockets, but he's only eating one. Yeah. yeah. Have a pill gun out front, and you stick a pill inside of it, and you'll put it back as far as you can, and just pick a little gun. It's super easy. You only call it a gun. It doesn't really shoot them. Yeah. <laughs> it's called a gun. Huh. Other than that, we'll repeat this in, in a week. Hopefully, we'll get better. Yeah, what's up, dude? Very cool. Well, thank you for the coolest patient of the day. And yes, you beat sir. a 32 point something pound snake. So that's pretty good. That's true. Okay, can I ask you a question? Did yes. you see Sasha earlier today for possible UTI? Yes. Um, I'm wondering if you want them to drop off the urine samples. Oh, yes. If they've got it, bring it. Okay.